Hello, I'm like it's afternoon. Good afternoon. It is Sunday, December. Sorry, I'm hair in my face. December sixth, and it's just afternoon. And actually, I probably have a good half an hour. I gotta go because I'm going to the movies with Alicia. We're going to see Brooklyn. Um, but anyway, I have many things I wanted to catch you up on. So where shall I begin? Well, let's see. What have I been doing this weekend? Friday night, Alicia and I went out to dinner at Doretta, and then Sandy and her husband were in town for one night, kind of unexpectedly, on their way back from Charleston, staying over at the Copley, the Fairmont Copley Plaza Hotel, so we popped over there to meet them for a drink, the result of which was I was a little bit in pain yesterday morning, because I had, it's always that extra, one, one last glass of wine. Um, anyway, so... We did that, and then yesterday I had, these are the days when I like to say it's good to be me. I got up, I went to the gym. Actually, so speaking of the gym, before I tell you about my day yesterday, I am on a roll. I have been going to the gym almost every day, and not only am I going to the gym, but I am going to classes that are hurting me, which I guess is good. Um, one of the gals that works for me who's a lot, a lot younger than me in her 20s, you know, she goes to all. The, she goes to my gym. She goes to all these classes. So she'll be like, "Oh, I'm going to boot camp tomorrow morning before work." And then I'm like, "Oh, okay, I'll go." And then you know, even though it doesn't really matter if I go or not, once I've told somebody I'm going to go, I'm not going to not be there. So I went to boot camp. So Wednesday night I went and did cardio, ten minutes on the god awful stair climber, twenty minutes on the bike. Thursday morning at six fifteen I was at boot camp class. Friday morning I was at ropes and rowers. And yesterday, I was at, um, oh, I had my trainer. So, it's been a um, very active week. But I need to, like, I really, I really want to lose 10 pounds. And I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Like, anyway, so that's that. So, the trainer part of the day wasn't my favorite part. But <laughs> then, I, um, the good part of my day is I went and I got a manicure and pedicure. So I got, oh gosh, what's the name of this Chanel Blue? I'll, I'll put the information in the box, but I don't think this is available anymore. This was like a limited edition for the fall. But like, look at how awesome this bright blue is. I love it. I got this and the other um, not as royal blue. Like, this is a flat blue. I also got a bright, more deeper, like midnight blue that has a little kind of shimmer in it. That's on my toes. So I had a manicure and pedicure, and then I went to, um, oh, this was the best part of my day. So I go to this spa on Newberry Street in Boston called Bellasante, and I had a facial and a massage. And it was like, I just feel like after the massage, it's easier to walk like fully upright, like, because I'm not so tight. You know, a massage is truly, I mean, therapeutic wonder. Like it was, it, it hurts a little while I have it done, but boy, does it feel good after. So I did that yesterday afternoon and I, oh, I did want to tell you, have you heard about these glam glow, um, skincare, you know, masks and things like that? Well, she used on me a glam glow mask. Hold on. I'm going to tell you which one it was. Okay, before I come back to the mask, I just want to tell you, the music I have on in the background, it's just playing like, a you know, on Sonos, a radio station, but this is a Justin Bieber song, and I don't know if you remember when I talked, like, how much I love Taylor Swift, and I'm, you know, 45 years old, but I love all this teeny bopper music. I'm almost ashamed to say, like, Justin Bieber's new album, I flippin' love it. Like, so good. And I have never liked him. I have never liked his shenanigans. Like, that's such an old lady word to say, but I have never liked any of that. And then I was in, like, Sunglass or Hood or somewhere recently, and I heard this song. And I, you know, I have one of those apps on my phone that you can record, you know, it'll tell you what is playing. And it was a Justin Bieber song, and oh my God, like, there are so many songs out right now by him that I love. So that's an aside. So any, it's the Glam Glow Moisturizing Mask that she used on me. And I can't tell you like how good my skin feels right now. Um, and what, it smells like you're at the beach, like this mask that she put on me. It's like, you know, coconutty, pineapple-y, like really tropical, honey. Um, 
but I really liked it. So I may buy some of the Glam Glow products and, you know, it's good to do that to yourself. I mean, I do little masks occasionally. Um, you know, I think you really should do them more often than I do them, but like sometimes when my skin gets really, you know, when I get those dry spots or I get too much, um, like I really need, feel like I need to be exfoliated, I'll do a mask or something. So I might buy some of those and have them at home to try. So anyway, so I did that, and then I stayed in last night. I ordered takeout. I made myself a Vesper. I, I don't even know what I watched. I think I watched a bunch of episodes of Castle, and then I crashed. <laughs> so anyway, so here we are now, Saturday, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. I've been to Whole Foods. I'm going to the movies, and then, you know, it'll be a tame night after the movies. So that's that. Okay, then the other thing, so I wanted to mention to you, I mentioned the Glam Glow mask to you. Okay, the other thing you may recall at some point relatively recently, I told you that these folks at Block Island Organics sent me this Block Island Organics Revitalizing Night Cream. Rich in antioxidants and vitamin C and E, no parabens, sulfates, vegan, like all this stuff. So... I have been, now I don't do it religiously because I'm very bad about taking my makeup off, at, makeup off at night and doing moisturizer, but when I have been remembering to do it, I've been using it. It's very nice. It's like a very light um, night cream, but moist, like it feels good on your skin. Um, and it's not expensive. I forget what it is, like $30-ish, maybe $35, but I'm going to put the link and the gal that sent this to me said she would do a 20% off code for anybody that wanted it. it would, actually, for anything on their website. But um, So I need to email her to get the code, and then the code will be good for a week. So I'm going to put that information in the information box below the video. Um, so if anybody wants this or to try like they have, you know, natural sunscreens and things like that. So I feel like, you know... It's definitely worth a try if you're looking for a new, like a, you know, facial moisturizer, sunblock, anything like that. The other thing I'll say is, like, when you read the ingredient list, you can actually read them. It's not a bunch of, you know, weird names, like water, like mineral water, flower extract, sweet almond, um, rose hip, lavender, you know, like all nice things. So... That's that. I um, I think you should check it out because I may go on their website myself and order some of the sunscreens. Because you know I use a La Mer, you know I use a La Mer moisturizer every day. I also have the La Mer sunscreen, um, but I would try this sunscreen. The La Mer sunscreen is you know probably two or three times as expensive as the, these you know this Block Island Organics. So I'm gonna try that. So that is Block Island Organics. Check it out. Then. Okay, the other thing I wanted to say is I, the gal that does my, um, like my waxing and stuff at Blue Mercury on Newberry Street, her name is Alicia. I know a lot of Alicia's. Alicia's, anyway. Um, so she had alerted me when they were doing, you know, they had a 20% off sale. I think it was last Wednesday or something, but she pre-sold me a bunch of stuff. So I stocked up on my, um... I use, I kind of rotate my shampoos and stuff, but I have been really liking the Oribe Bright Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. Sh Bright Blonde Shampoo for beautiful color. And so I got, I, I got two of each of these. I stocked up on this. And then I have historically, when I blow dry my hair, you know, I use a volumizing spray. So I have historically used the Karastas, this volumizing spray, which I really like. I've always liked it, you know. It's one of those things, honestly, I put it in, I have no idea. Like, I feel like if I don't use it, my hair is just flatter. Um, but it doesn't really, you know, it's not sticky. It doesn't feel like you have anything in your hair. You put it on wet and then you blow dry your hair. But anyway, since Blue Mercury was having the sale and they don't sell the Kerastase, I decided I would try the Oribe Volumista Mist for Volume. And so I tried it today. It feel, it definitely, you can... And this is not in a bad way. I can feel it more in my hair. Like, it gives it a little more, um, I mean, I, stiffness, but not exactly the right word, because it doesn't feel stiff to the touch or anything like that. But, um, like, I like it. I feel like it really, you know, gave me a little more fluff than I usually have. Um, so that's that. Okay. Then the important thing... 
Where's my thing that tells me how long I've been doing this? Anyway, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Six minutes, 13 seconds. Okay. Um, oh, the important thing is I had told you, I have more than this to show you, but this is, we're going to do it in bits and pieces. I told you a video or two ago that I bought some new things. So the major, major thing I bought is this Chanel tote bag. I love it. So here it is. It's like, close it properly. Okay, so I just want you to see like how beautiful this bag is. Like it's a nice, you know, I don't know what leather this is. I don't think this is the caviar leather, but if it's a lambskin, I'm not sure what it is, but it's it's not one of the, it's not like the really soft lambskin that you feel like you'll ruin easily. And then look at like the details on the you can see in the C's, like it says Chanel, like you see here. Um and so I love that like the you know quilted closure, and then you just kind of unlock that. There's some stuff in here, sorry, but so it's got three um, compartments, you know, it's got a, like two open compartments, the middle zipper compartment, and then, um, you know, it's got these little like places where you can put your phone in here or whatever. I've been loving it, loving, loving, loving it. It just kind of barely fits over the shoulder. You have to kind of tuck it back to wear it like that, but I've been doing it more, you know, like in the crook of my arm. So this is the major purchase of the recent past. And I've been using it like almost every day. I just love it. Like I was thinking about getting a, like I knew I wanted a black, like I was thinking maybe I wanted more of a shoulder bag, but I was hemming and hawing between that and a tote. And then when I saw this, because it's got all the hallmarks of the classic Chanel, but you know, a little edge with this chain and the way the, the you know, C turn lock is like I just I, I couldn't love it anymore so this is the major major purchase in my life um and I think that's it other than I was going to show you my get up today so I am wearing white jeans and it is December but I kind of like the look so basically I'm wearing my Chanel necklace that my sister gave me last year for Christmas that I love 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 the same thing you see all the time. Like, th these bracelets, I just, they're my favorite. So, my Hermes CDC bracelet. Um, okay, so this is an A Ruby sweater. You may recall I gave you some information on a pop-up that I went to, and there was another one. I don't know if it's over, it may be over now. But um, they have it in this kind of stone color and then also in a navy color. I'm tempted to get the navy as well. And if you're interested, this is, there, it just comes in two sizes, maybe a small, medium, and a medium large. This is the small, medium. And it's very, you know, it's big. So you'll see when I get up. But I may try the navy in the larger size because maybe it would be a little longer. Like this is a little, a little shorter, excuse me, than I would want if I'm wearing leggings. Um, so anyway, I think that is it other than I will get up now and show you what I'm wearing okay hold on okay so you can see how the um, sweater kind of fits and where it hits and you know this is just a I don't know Gordon Taylor long sleeve t-shirt underneath and then I'm wearing the white jeans whose jeans are these I think they're Joe's anyway and these Jean Vito Rossi booties and then because it's like only in the 50s, I mean, not only, yeah, because it's warm, it's in the 50s today, I don't need a full coat, so I'm going to do this. This is that Lafayette big sweater coat, and my um, Marnie crossbody bag. So this is what is happening today for my jaunt to the movies. Um, so anyway, that is it. So it's Sunday, but I probably won't pay, post this till tomorrow because I want to get you guys the code for the Block Island Organics 20% off. Um, so I'll have to email her and I assume she won't get back to me till tomorrow since it's Sunday. Um, but in any event, I'll get it all ready and queued up and then as soon as I have the info, I shall post it. Hope you had a great one. Bye.